This is Mike Stewart. In an earlier video of mine, gave you my favorite top Western movies of all time, the A-listers. Today, we slide down to the B-Western. The leaner, smaller production, but still reliable, entertaining products that makes for a good Saturday matinee to while away the hours. So we begin with Rio Conchos. Now, who doesn't like a Western with Richard Boone, good old paladin from TV fame? He's always a great character study. Long about sundown, they'll be picking us off one at a time, and we'll be sitting here waiting for orders. <laughs> and Rio Conchos boasts a pretty good cast. Stuart Whitman is along for the ride, Tony Franciosa. Who would have thought that night in the guardhouse we would be here like this? Rich man, eh? Edmund O'Brien. We shall dispatch at least 1,000 mounted men against the enemy. Jim Brown, All-American, All-Pro football star, in his first motion picture. We've got Contraband, Indian Wars, Double Crossing Partners, Real Conchos, not a bad thing. Next up, Sean Connery. Yeah, Sean Connery, James Bond of the Plains. It's an interesting plot setup in Shalico. Connery is a guide, and true story here, seems in the early West, rich Europeans would travel to America and go on sort of a frontier safari. Shalico has to guide them away from danger when these Europeans wind up in Indian territory. The story has its moments, it's a slow burn, but I think it's still an interesting film, it has its twist. Now then, we've got America's most decorated war hero, Audie Murphy, who became a B-movie star. Most of his films were quite reliable entertainment, and in this one, Hell Bent for Leather. It's a case of a cowboy mistaken identity with a corrupt sheriff who doesn't give a damn because he can still score political points with his town folk. Hey, we still got that kind of thing going on today. Hell bent for leather, not a bad movie. We can't leave out stalwart, trustworthy Randolph Scott. Made zillions of B-Westerns. But this film is a gem, seven men from now. It's a revenge pick that picks off the bad guys one by one. That kill him. They ever catch up to them fellas that done it? Two of them. with a young Lee Marvin as the top bad guy. Isn't he always? And very good. Seven Men From Now. Our last flick, critics didn't like, but that wasn't stopping crowds of moviegoers showing up to watch Raquel Welch. Watch out for Raquel Welch. Jim Brown and Burt Reynolds in 100 Rifles. If you like your shoot 'em ups with plenty of gun smoke, this film is nonstop action. In fact, 100 Rifles was made a full year before The Wild Bunch, but with the same gusto, which then changed how future Western movies were made. After all the trouble we went through to get them rifles... Look, I spent 15 years in the 9th Cavalry, keeping the law and chasing bad Indians. But this one ain't my business, it ain't my fight, and it ain't my job. We should have killed him. They sabotage a train. They capture a town. They fight with every dirty trick in the book. And they're the heroes of this picture. So there it is, five B Westerns that make it worthy of your time and will show more stories of the way it was heading west. This is Mike Stewart. Oh, wild west!